So you're in the middle of a DIY project and you run out of materials. What do you do? Well, if you're anything like me six months ago, I'd have got in my car, driven to the nearest store and I would have sorted it out. Only now I live here, 15 miles or so down a dirt road from the nearest store. And those solutions aren't quite so simple anymore. My name's Victoria. After 15 years in the US, I'm now living here in Brazil in a little village close to the sea. So we're doing a renovation of an inn and yesterday we ran out of all the materials to make concrete, which basically meant we had to order sand. The truck came, which was great, but as it worked its way up our hill, it got halfway up slid back down again somehow managed to get in a diagonal position across the road stopped all the traffic and then it proceeded to drop off two-thirds of the sand down the hill take another third up the hill and left and it is in those moments that I start to relearn or learn in fresh ways what it truly is to help one another, to be a good neighbor, to be generous and kind. Because it is in this moment that two of the workers on our project actually loaned us bags of cement. It is in this moment that guys came down with shovels and moved sand into trucks and dragged it up the hill. It is in this moment that I learn in a fresh way what Jesus probably truly meant when he said, love your neighbor as yourself. I wonder sometimes if in our independence, we've learned to love ourselves or at least rely on ourselves, but loving our neighbor, maybe that has a whole different meaning to the one that we know so far.